Crisis in Kensington. It's chemical warfare on the streets, former user says. One recovering heroin addict and former inhabitant of the city of brotherly love says the worst is yet to come. A trank pandemic is already wreaking havoc on a neighborhood in the city of brotherly love, leaving users with horrifying flesh scars or murdering them altogether. It's the worst thing I've ever seen, said Frank Rodriguez, who has become a local activist since getting clean. This is literally chemical warfare. Drug addicts who are hooked to xylazine, an animal tranquilizer that has invaded the country's illicit drug supply, have made Philadelphia's Kensington area their hangout. According to the Philadelphia Department of Health, more than 90% of drug samples tested in Philadelphia in 2021 included the substance also known as Trank or the zombie drug. It looks like a zombie movie, Rodriguez, a former drug dealer himself, said. You see the people falling apart, limbs falling off. In Kensington, it's common to witness drug users using needles to inject themselves or passing out on the ground with fleas covering their flesh-eating wounds. A couple of inebriated users staggered onto the busy road wearing only their underwear, and automobiles almost ran them over. The Drug Enforcement Administration DIA, warns that trank can result in painful wounds that occasionally need amputation. Additionally, the medication renders users comatose for protracted durations, making them vulnerable to rape or theft. Indeed, it is even fatal. Maggie, a 30-year-old heroin addict, has been residing on the streets of Kensington for four years. She once took medication without understanding it included xylazine and blacked out, waking up without shoes. It's horrible out here, Maggie said. When it was regular heroin, it was nothing like that. It's worse. You see people around here, and they don't know what they're doing. Because of the xylazine, she said. I've lost a lot of good friends. People are just dying all around. According to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, Less than 3% of fatal overdoses in 20 states and Washington, D.C. in January 2019 were fentanyl combined with xylazine. That increased to nearly 10% by June 2022. The DIA also issued a warning in March of this year on the hazardous mixture's potentially fatal effects as well as its expanding availability across the country. Xylazine was discovered by the FDA in 48 states, 23% of fentanyl powder, and 7% of fentanyl tablets. Xylazine is making the deadliest drug threat our country has ever faced, fentanyl, even deadlier, DIA Administrator Ann Milgram said. On his way to recovery, Rodriguez left Kensington, but he returns there almost weekly to give desperate drug addicts food, water, clothes, and haircuts. The drug addict in recovery also attempts to inspire other drug users to quit using drugs as he did. Rodriguez claimed that despite his efforts, the area worsened over time as more harmful drugs found their way into the drug trade.